Okay, change of plans. So we got some of the belts off. I'm having trouble getting the gear off because it spins. I'm waiting on the tool from IPD to come in the mail. Uh, if that doesn't happen, I'll find another solution, but we're going to continue with the exhaust manifold first and then the intake manifold. And then we'll just pull the valve cover off and uh, continue from there. Uh, we're gonna label the spark plug wires one, uh, one through four uh, and then fold those back. All right, making some progress. Uh, we got the, the heat shield off of the exhaust manifold. We got the plugs off and labeled one, two, three, and then the blank one is number four. Um, you've got a bracket for uh, an engine lift that sits right here. Uh, these are pretty easy to come off. Just uh, uh, spray them down with some PV blaster. The ones that are gonna give you the problem are these ones down here where it mates with your downpipe. Uh, on the underside, there are 15 millimeter, three 15 millimeter bolts that you're gonna need to take off. So I sprayed those down. I'm waiting for that to penetrate a bit. And then we'll try and break those loose. Um, there it is, we got it. Bottom three bolts down there have been removed. Uh, all eight of these bolts are removed. So this exhaust manifold should pop off nice and easy. Uh, for the bottom end, uh, here's what uh, we used. Here's the tool, uh, long extension, 15 millimeter socket. Uh, the first two, the front two here on this side, I was able to get those from the top. However, the back one here, number three, had to go underneath the car and reach up. And that's what we use the long extender here for. All right, got the exhaust manifold off. But what I found out was that the downpipe and the rest of the exhaust was held up by these little clamps. So I loosened them, and now you might be able to see ah, it's sitting on the floor now. So that is a problem I'm going to solve later. Hopefully yours will not suffer from that. Okay, basically on to step three now. Uh, we've got the exhaust manifold off. We've got some of the stuff off the front, all the cooling. Everything is off. We're moving on to the intake manifold. The intake manifold here. Um, this is probably the more complicated portion of this as, uh, as far as disassembling goes. There we go. That's what it's supposed to feel like. 